All right, how's it going there, UB2B? I have a few thoughts on the fact that uh, the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals uh, knocked out the injunction against the assault weapons ban, or P Pyra, I guess it's called, uh, and everybody's crying, right? Let me say this, I'm not crying, right? First of all, anybody who lives in Illinois knew that shit was going to happen. But the funny thing is, is that Supreme Court thing, right? So where uh, Justice Barrett, right, wants to hear from Naperville, right? Naperville, Illinois, because that town started this whole assault weapons ban bullshit in the recent era, right, here in Illinois. Because most of the rural state of Illinois has more guns than people know about. Anyway, that part's neither here nor there, because the Supreme, right, Justice Barrett, wants to know more. Now, I was kind of worried, right, I was kind of worried that the Seventh Circuit wasn't going to touch that until, right, uh, Justice Barrett looked at this thing, right, and by waiting, right, she would have the option of going, well, you know, nobody's losing their rights right now because the judge from the Southern District of Illinois had put a stay on enforcing it, right? So, to me, it gives her more incentive and the rest of the Supremes to go, you know, we really have to end these circuits and states that are just basically spitting in the face of the decision that we came to in Bruin and uh, McDonald and the rest and Heller, right? So I'm not as worried about it because they have until Monday, right? Today's Thursday. That's when they that's when they came down. And if you don't think that as a sitting Supreme Court justice, there the justices who voted for the Bruin decision are not starting to get a little pissy about all these people throwing their fucking nose at it. And, you know, it might even piss off some of the other ones, right, the judges who voted against it, just because if states are willing to do that to them, the majority in the Supreme Court, then you think they're not going to do it when they become, you think it's not going to be a tit for tat? And these justices hopefully are smart enough to realize that. So I think this is going to move any assault weapons ban case up at the Supreme Court along much faster, Right. They might even still take it under consideration now, right, which is what most people are not saying, because they keep, you know, all these, all these, uh, you know, appellate court districts keep slapping the justices in the face, telling them, you don't know what the fuck you did, you're, you're idiots, how'd you let this happen, blah, 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 we're not gonna, we're not gonna fucking listen to you, right, so I'm kind of cool with that, right, because now I want to see what's gonna happen Monday of next week. You know, so and for all we know, you know, they may get that running faster through the Seventh Circuit, but I'm not holding my breath. Right. What I am glad, like I said, is that Monday is going to be another day that we're going to have to hear some shit because they're going to Naperville and the state of Illinois have to go before have to put their shit up for the Supreme Court. Right. And they don't really have a case. So in either one. Right, it's blatantly against the Second Amendment, and it's they're both blatantly against the Bruin decision. So, the Supreme Court's like anybody else. You know, you go spit in their face when they tell you to do, when they tell you this is the way something has to go, and you go, oh no, it doesn't. I'm going to do my own fucking thing, and they have authority over you. Well, they're going to get kind of pissy about it of you constantly spitting in the face of their authority. Right. So, that being said, Pastor Mule out.